Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's class, I will show us how to cut a placket on men's clothes. So this is uh, Art Steven. Art uh, Collagon. Then it's going to be 14 inches long. Then the width is, um, it doesn't have a permanent measurement, like a standard measurement. You can decide to use one inch, 1.5, or one and quarter. I'm using one and quarter here. So after getting it, just fold into two and give it a shape. At this down part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim out this, uh, little ruffles by the side so after that so after that all you need to do is just gum it on the fabric you gum it on the fabric make sure you gum it very well then this right side just leave about 2.5 inches here Then this left side just leave about one leave about one inch at this left part. So trim off this uh, other side. So you're going to trim off this other side too, leaving seven inches from up because the opening is going to be seven inches. So You are going to make it uh, 2.5 inches this upper part. Then this down part that just trim now can just be 1 inch. Here too, it can be 1 inch. Just leave out 1 inch there too. Those little, little allowance we are leaving there is going to be for the folding. So just notch this down place so that we'll be able to fold that back. I Sorry, that down part perfectly. So after getting this shape like this, you need to make use of your aiming gum so that it will gum it, so it will gum it perfectly. So just put the aiming gum little by little. It will tag it down. Just like this. We are going to fold, we are going to fold it around. This upper part too, you fold an iron like this, then you put the aiming gum under it. You put the aiming gum under it like this, fold it on it and you iron. You are going to do the same thing from this side. To so cut your aiming gum, you do the same thing. So from this other side too, you are going to do the same thing. So the aiming gun may not really go as far as this uh, upper part. You can just stop around these uh, 7 inches we measured the other time. Yeah, something like this. Something like this. So now this this uh, this allowance left now is kind of too big, so you can just reduce it to like one or half inch, but preferably, preferably one, preferably one. So all you need to do is just fold it on it like this, then you iron it. I want I want to I want us to do it in a way that you're just going to fix it once. That will be 
there will be no need for uh, for sewing from inside and outside so just fold it inside like this you can still put your iron so that it will relax very well But make sure when you fold it like that, it comes out a little bit at the down part. It's not going to be equal. If you look at it, see that it's not equal. It will come out a little bit. So that by the time you are sewing on it, you'll be able to sew on the down. By the time you are sewing on it, you'll be able to sew on the down one. So it's just going to be one time sewing. So this is the, the body where we want to attach it. 7 inches the opening is 7 inches then this other one too is 7 inches whatever you have on the body is what you are going to have on the placket so it's going to be on this part to cut little you are going to cut little one that's going to stay on that part so this is like get a fabric about 10 inches long then 3 inches wide And just fold little like this then fold little from both side fold little from both side like this so after folding you're going to fold into two again making sure you leave a it comes out a little that's the down part the folding will not be equal you're not for the equal. it will come out a little bit it's looking as if it's taking much time but when you take your time to be like this you know a problem look at it you can see that it's not equal you can see that it's not equal so the down one is a bit uh longer So this is what you are going to do now this left part you are just going to open this one and put it in between then you are going to sew on it just once then after that you put this other one you open it to place it in between then you are just going to sew once let, let me do that on matching so that you can see look at it just open it Let it be in between. So all you need to do is just one time sewing. All you need is just one time sewing. Just like this. If you look at this under part, you see that the threading is if you look at it very well, you see that the threading is holding the down part too. So this is it. This is the other side. And definitely it's going to go beyond that seven inches so after when you might have uh, done that one then this is the main placket so you are going to open it put you are going to open it put this one at the middle make sure you place it at the center yeah make sure it's at the center of the of the placket like this and just put your machine then you sew on it it's going to be one time sewing too when you do it this way it makes it more neat very very neat you won't have um, any unnecessary squeezing at the you're not going to have unnecessary rough food at the, at the front so just be perfect and it will be neat you can see just one time swing you know definitely you are going to uh, that front part you've already folded it into two with iron so you'll be able to uh, demarcate the center of the of the float so when you're so when you're sewing this, you know where you're placing it, direction you're placing it so that it will not bend. 
it's advisable you use iron to fold your your front body into two so that you know the center so you know how to place just like this it's very very easy when you just like i said initially if you take your time you're not going to have problem just a one time sewing it's a one time sewing so it's not something difficult so when you sew like this you're going to leave uh leave about six inches other upper parts you know we opened seven so now you are going to leave six you're going to leave about six so that you'll be able to cover that place with notch that seven inches with notch so you can decide to cross sew it like this cross sew it like that so then that upper part too at it if you look at it you can see that the work is almost done and it's coming out very neat so you need to do is just stitch it from this other side too so that the threading will go around you stitch from this side so that the threading will go around the placket just as simple as this Cut off all the threading, then uh, the placket is ready. So as simple as that. So as simple as that. So all you need to do now is just cut off the threading and you do the uh, the ironing. And your placket is ready. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Please. Don't forget to share and subscribe. See you guys next time.